Hi everyone, it's Trisha here from Smith's Crafty Creations. Um, for those of you new to the channel, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in um, Scotland, the UK. And today I'm bringing you a little gift box project. I am making up some of these um, to sell as um, pamper packs or thank you teacher gifts um, for Christmas coming up. So, what you need is two A4 sheets of um, the same colour cardstock or you can mix it up um, make sure it coordinates with the designer series paper that you've chosen for the box and I am using this wonderful paper and this is actually part of the uh, Snowflake Splendour designer series paper it's really lovely lots of nice uh, neutral type tones okay so the finished box is um, just short of eight inches by four and a quarter and a two inch depth okay so what we want to do is we're going to do the base first okay so you want to take your trimmer and you're just going to um, score at two inches on all four sides of the paper okay like so easy peasy lemon squeezy you might want to use your score scoreboard if you have one if you don't have this trimmer whatever's easiest for you okay so there is the base now for the lid we're doing two on each side as well however we want to take it half a sixteenth of it well a sixteenth of an inch under two on all four sides and that gives us a little bit more wiggle room for the um because this is the lid okay and that just means that we'll get a nice, um, easy to um, attach lid. And we're not having to bend the box underneath at all. Okay. Right, so. That is that. Okay. Now, what I want to do is, for the lid, I always cut up the left side of the score line. And then for the base, I always cut up the right side and it just takes it in a little bit better. Okay, so what you're going to cut up the score line, remove a couple of little triangles, turn and do the same again. Da -da -da -da. Beautiful, beautiful colours for Christmas. I am just trying to think of ways to make more pennies. Um, to help us with Christmas this year. If you don't already have these papers, I recommend that you do buy them. They are just so versatile. I've made so many projects with it, you would not believe. And this year, I have been so, so into Christmas gifts. I just can't believe it, really. Right, so we're going to fold and burnish. Here's my scoring tool. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, so this is the lid. Da, 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 da. Lovely, jovely. So just making sure all the lines are fine. Okay, pop that to the side. We're going to do the base now. So I take it up the right hand edge of the score line. Again, taking away a little triangle. I do apologise, I'm absolutely covered in ink and glue. And I'm halfway through picking off my clear gel of my nails. <gasps> it's a nightmare. I'm going to trim my nails right down and start again. So I am. Okay. And the reason we cut out these little triangle sections is because it gives for a snugger fit when um, we're lining up the edges, gluing it together. Now, no box is going to be 100% perfect. That's um, it's a good thing about handmade. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, perfect. We don't want it to represent a shop bo box. We want people to know that it's handmade and it's handmade with love. Okay. See, I've got my little colour chart under there. I'm just going to pop that there to hide that just now. Right, so fold and burnish. 
all your score lines like so easy peasy lemon squeezer I'm so organized with all my projects it feels amazing okay wet glue if you're a fan of um, tear and tape for doing your 3D projects please use that now the reason I'm all glue is because I've already made three in fact four of these this morning whoops okay so I'm just taking it in I'm absolutely covered in glue taking it into the inside bit there we go marry that up perfect dee 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 okay let's just split now it is a big simple box I just thought I'd come on and share I am doing a lot of kind of um, handmade not handmade gifts but handmade gift boxes with a, a, a variety of things inside them for Christmas gifts this year just to try and save on the pennies it's very much a Christmas on a budget this year as it always is. <laughs> Alright, so again, there's the third part, okay. And then on to the last tab. This is why I like Tombow because you only need to hold it a little while for it to set. And then if you be gentle, it doesn't come off when you're wiggling it about. Okay. I do like to burnish it though to spread that glue around okay so there is our box base okay and what I want to do is I, um, I need a piece of white paper what we're going to do is we're going to line the inside of this box okay with some designer series paper and if I can find my other piece, where did it go? There we go. This one will go on the top. So this one's going to go inside and this one's going to go on the top. The other ones that i done, I just used this for the top for the lid. Okay, but this one I'm going to decorate both. So the matte layer measures 7.5 by 4 for both the inside and the lid. And then the DSP layer... Um, measure seven and a quarter by three and three quarters. So let's um, pop the bottom in. I have I'm just so chuffed that I am um, making so many handmade things this year. I really am enjoying it. Okay, so some glue on here. Now be careful when you pop this in. Okay, so you just need to wiggle it slightly. The sensible thing to do would be to stick it down before you build the box. Okay, that looks really sweet. Perfect. Okay, so I do need another piece of white for the lid, which we are going to stick down. So this is Whisper White. Love it. Okay, so the matte layer, like I said, is um, four by four inches by seven and a half. So seven and a half. And then the matte layer again is seven and a quarter by three and three quarters. So it's a quarter inch increment that I'm using there. Okay, let's bring the lid back. And we're going to adhere all this together. So white glue again. Mm -hmm. These colours are just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Like so. Gonna burnish that a little bit. There we go. Try and get the glue as close to the edge as you can. Whoops, not that close though that it comes comes out. You know me, I'm just a little skitter at sometimes. Skittery fingers. Okay. So give that a wee second to dry. 
The stamp set we're going to use um, to decorate the belly band is the Gnome for the Holidays. And the colours um, are Highland Heather to match cardstock and Bammy Blue that matches the designer seeds paper. I'm also going to stamp some um, snowflakes possibly, but I have used the um, coordinating dies, the snowflake dies that goes with that sweet. So I have one, two, three die cut out already. Okay, and I have a circle disc from the stitched circle dies. So we're going to pop them on there. We're going to do some stamping. And yeah, have fun. Right, this is ready to glue. So let's um, pop some glue on. Of course, it's not going to come out now because I'm filming. It's been behaving itself all morning. Okay. And I want to make sure that I'm not overlapping that edge because it will shorten the size and maybe make it too tight. Okay. So, uh, before you start gluing, make sure that you've got the right piece on top. Okay? Perfect. Because it's so easy to mix up the lid and the base and then it's just a nightmare. Then it is just a nightmare. Okay. I do like that. And when I'm gluing the last tab, I like to put the lid on the box and then just manipulate it to the point that I know it's going to be secure enough, but also loose enough that you can lift it off again. I'll just give that a wee second to dry. What I need is a little punch. Now, this is a retired punch, but um, I use this half punch to get a little thumb notch. Right, so let's pop that on. You can see it fits absolutely brilliantly. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm ready to glue the last piece. And I'll show you what I'm putting in there. Okay, so make sure it's lining up like so. Perfect. Oopsie. Awesome. All we need now is a little thumb nib. Just watch because that can ping you in the eye, so be careful. <laughs> Whoops. Fabulous. Okay. So that is our box. And like I say, it measures seven and a half. Eight, sorry, seven and seven eighths. Let's just say round up to eight. So it's an eight by four and a quarter by two. Lovely. Now, for the belly band, I simply cut a piece of A4 cardstock down the longest side um, and made it a width of two and a half inches. It was about an inch short for going around this box, so I cut a four inch piece, four inch by two and a half, little extension piece, um, just to make the band bigger. Okay, so that just goes on really snugly. Like so. Because when we fill this, it's going to lift up naturally because it's jam-packed. Okay, right, let's decorate our lovely little disc. Now remember, paper has two sides, so if you don't stamp right, you can always switch it over. Now, I want to stamp the little gnome in the Barbie blue. <clears throat> okay. Now, I think I will use that little lady. Now, I need to grab a block. Sorry about the noise. Something's going to crash in there. Right, where's my box? Okay. Isn't she lovely? So, what we can do... A bit of glue there, sorry. Let's just see how she stamps. Adorable. I do like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're not going to colour her in or anything like that. We're simply going to just leave her 
as is. Whoops, see, I told you I had sticky fingers. So that's our little gnome lady. Now, sentiment. That I'm going to use, I'm going to do a little Christmas wish. And I'm going to pop that down the side. I'm going to do that in the Highland Heather. And clean off those stamps later. Okay. Or you could pop it along the bottom. Let's see if it will fit along the bottom. Nope. So I'm just going to stamp it right about there. Ta-da! Lovely jovely. Lovely jovely. Just for fun, let's add some sparkle to our little bobbles. You could colour this in, but I want to keep it nice and simple to save time for myself. Okay. And we are going to attach this onto our belly band, like so. And then we are going to stick the snowflakes on it. Right, so make sure that it's lining up how you want it to. Okay, make sure the font, yeah, that looks nice. Great. I'm just going to push that down. Right. Okay, happy with that. Smashing. Now I want to pop it on the box just so I can see the complete effect. Let me move my stamps ever so slightly. So a little Christmas wish. Then we're going to build up these adorable, adorable, adorable little snowflakes. And you can um, manipulate the edges so that they kind of stand up a wee bit better. So I'll pop that one there. She says, press and hold guys, press and hold. I love it. I don't know if maybe three is too much. Yeah, I think two. I think the the large and the small will miss will miss out the um the medium one. Oops. Don't know why I've got an alarm going off there. Sorry about that. If you heard that buzzing away. Okay. There we go. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Got an idea for the other snowflake. I think I'll pop this on the inside. Dee -dee -dee -dee. In which case you would need to try and get glue on as much of it as possible. Okay, especially the edges. And then don't drop it. I told you I had butter fingers. Okay. Stick, stick, stick. There we go. I think that's nice. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, so let me get my inks away and I'll show you what I'm popping inside. So this is a half sheet of um, beautiful tissue paper, white with silver. It's really, really pretty. So what I've got here, and this is a foot and hand pamper pack. Okay, so there's various bitties in here. So we have a honey and almond foot pack, which goes in here. It's for your feet. We have antiseptic, antibacterial wipes for your hands. We have an aloe vera antibacterial hand gel. We have two, mmm, smell, cookies and cream uh, tea lights. We have a nail file, which could be for hands or feet. We have a little um, nail clippers. Okay, put them in. We've got a little snack biscuit pack. Okay, now best before is June next year. And then finally, we have a pair of socks or a pair of um, slipper socks. So this one just happens to be pink socks, okay? So all we do is we Tuck it in. Okay. Very budget friendly. Ta-da! Now when it's the fuzzy fuzzy socks, it does bulge a little bit. 
However, the belly band is there to kind of bring it all together. So there is my handmade box. Let me decorate a couple more. So let me show you. So that is the Highland Heather. We've got Mint Macaron, which is this one here, and the Bami Blue would go with that as well. So we've got two of those. So let's do, let's do some stamping. Okay, so Mint Macaron. I need my chamois. And I'm so glad that I've managed to get time to do this today because uh, my son is due in from school in the next 20 minutes. So I'll be finished filming and it'll be uploaded by then, which is smashing. Right, so now I don't want to use the lady. I want to use one of the other gnomes. Okay, let me clean this. I think I'll go for the one with the wizard style hat. This one here. Really nice one. So all we need to do, test it out. Ha! Absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to pop him in the middle. Beautiful! I'm going to do the other one as well, might as well, since we've got two here. Pop him up a bit towards the top. Clean this off. Right, a little Christmas wish. Let's do this in blue, because it goes quite nice with the mint macaron. And we're just going to stamp that. Right about there. Isn't he lovely? Okay, we can add a little wink of Stella to his nose, even his beard. When you use the wink of Stella, it can draw the colour out. So if you don't want to draw the colour out, try not to touch the inky bits. But that's ever so discreet, but it's nice. Let's put some on his bell. Love it. Fab. Okay, a nice wee bell. I think that'll do that. Okay. Right, let's do a different sentiment on this one. This one is going to say, you're a friend like no other. We're going to pop that on this side. This is a good gift for a friend. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it there. Isn't that adorable? Love it. I love it, I love it. Okay, so what we need to do now is shift the X. Going to attach them onto our belly bands. So this has already got the goods in it and you can see it's just a little bit um, chock-a-block but that's absolutely fine. Oh, what's happening to my glue? That's drying up really quick. Which isn't so good. Don't leave your lid off too much. Hang on, I need another one. I need another one. I need to pop that one back upside down. Get some more out of it. Okay, right, where's my bin? I'm actually quite looking forward to um, Christmas now. In this one we're going to do a little bit different. Okay. Move it down ever so slightly. This one, I'm going to pop the big snowflake here. Like so. And you can still grab, grab it like this. You're not going to interfere with the snowflake that's stuck on there. And we're going to pop one over on that side. 
You really don't need a lot of glue. Ta-da! Perfect. Right, let's get this one stuck on. Exciting, exciting. These are about the sizes of a tissue tissue box. This would be good. You could actually run that through um, with a big oval die and make it a tissue box. Here's another wonderful idea. It wouldn't last in my house though, with my boys. A little, little heavy handed at times. Okay, we're popping this one on now. This is a medium size. And I want it so you can see it, but I don't want it covered in the gnome. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we are going to add some bling. I'm just going to set my glue on top of that now. Where is it? Let me get some sparkly things. But first I have the fourth box. Okay, so let's pop them aside. Again, this is the wonderful Highland Heather. Okay, so... What we'll do is I shall stamp the other gnome, this guy, and I'll stamp it in um, Highland Tether. He's just gorgeous. It really is. Okay. One, two, three. Stick it down. Ta-da! Isn't he adorable? Lovely javelin. Lovely. Right, what else do we need to do for this one? There's a little um, gnome house scene as well in this stamp set. We've seen them use this quite a lot, the gnome for the holidays. Right, the sentiment I'm going to pop in here is holly jolly everything. Okay, and we're going to pop that on the side right there. So I need to stamp it in... The Bami Blue, which is here. Just go pop it to the side, like that. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's pop them in. Right, so let's get this one on. You could do it this way as well if you like. However, I do like the um, putting it landscape rather than portrait. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's get these little, little snowflakes stuck on. So here's the bottom one. And I think we'll use the medium one on the other side. Stick it on with this bit. Oops, a little bit too much there. That's absolutely fine. Ta-da! Leave it. Leave it, leave it. Right, let's get some let's get some bling on. Now these are the blue adhesive back gems that coordinate with the snowflakes. Blender sweet, they're wonderful. And you could see blues, purples, quite a through a few mix of colours on this. Now I'm just going to use some of the smaller gems. I think two's plenty. This one here, you could actually put gems on our little hat. Put gems in the middle of the um, in the middle of the snowflakes, or whatever your little heart desires. Okay, two on that one, fabulous. For these mint macarons, I am going to use um, basic jewels. 
Now I already have an open pack in this somewhere. In fact, let me use some little snowflakes. These are these teaser back snowflakes. These are adorable. So there's ones that are kind of pearlescent, eh, almost pinkish, and these ones are purpley green blue. So these ones are absolutely perfect for our projects today. So I'm just mixing and matching. Don't forget to have a rummage through your supplies, see what you've got, see what coordinates with what, and um, yeah, have fun creating. Yay, I like that. I like it a lot. Okay. So, pop that there. Pop that there. And these are really easy to apply. Okay. Right, folks, that is um, all my projects done. I'll quickly tidy and I'll just show you ever so quickly again. If I can find the little bag that these came out, that would help. Uh, I'm a neat freak, I need to be tidy. Okay, so what we have is one minute macaron, two, as you can see they're a good good size and we also have the Highland Heather with the pool party and kind of like Barney blue type colours and I also have a soft sea foam one that I've yet to make a belly band for. Okay that is all I am um, Hope you've taken notes of all the measurements. I will try and remember include them in the blog when it when it's um, typed up. But in the meantime, give it a wee try and um, yeah, try do crafts on a budget. See you later.